Blast me to Bermuda. It's time for the Mad Merlin's unboxing of Agent Callus Commander Expansion for Star Wars Legion by Fantasy Flight Games. Hello and welcome back to this Mad Merlin's unboxing. Today we're going to take a look at the Agent Callus Commander Expansion for Star Wars Legion by Fantasy Flight Games. So here we have Agent Callus in all his spectre hunting glory. This is the new Finn Profile box. And as you can see, we have a couple of alternate builds to make. Uh, overall contents, they are one plastic miniature, one unit card, one floor card, three command cards, seven upgrade cards, 14 tokens, and one rule sheet. So it a, contains a unpainted hard plastic miniature that requires assembly. So it's nice to see that Legion is finally going to frames. I know they've been doing this since Clone Wars came in, but I haven't really gotten into the Clone Wars side of the game. Although I do love that the more in-depth and Jedi-heavy lore, I do really have a soft spot for the Civil War, because this is where I came in, really, back in the day, with the original trilogy. But here we go. Back then, the Clone Wars was just a one-line mention. I was once a Jedi Knight, the same as your father. <laughs> so, here we have our contents. So we have the instruction sheet. Here you can have either the gun mode or the combat mode. Choice of heads, two bare, one helmeted. We have a look at our full contents. So we have the Agent Callus miniature, one 27mm round base, one aim token, one dodge token, six observation tokens, one order token, one standby token, one suppression token, three wound tokens, one Agent Callus unit card, one floor card developing sympathies, three command cards, face me, ISB investigation, ruthless tactics, seven upgrade cards, one ascension cables, one inspiring presence, one J19 bow rifle blaster and staff, one portable scanner, one seize initiative, one situational awareness, and one vigilance. On the other side, we have the expanded rules for Agent Callus. And we have three baggies of components, card components, the lovely Agent Callus figure, which we'll take a closer look in a minute, and of course our 27mm round base. So let's hit the overhead cam and see what, what we have. So first we'll take a look at the actual Agent Callus figure. As you can see they have moved to a plastic frame as opposed to individual bagged models, and really this is a welcomed improvement to their product line. You have a variety of options as I mentioned before. You have three different bear head, uh, two different bear heads and one helmeted head. The helmeted head is a more straight head whereas the bear heads have a slight angle to their neck. You have the rifle arms then you have the staff arms. You then have the two halves of the torso. And finally the staff itself. I really do like the electro effect on the end there. And I will definitely be building mine in that configuration. We have his base, as I mentioned before. And we have his card components. So we have his command cards, his unit card, and his upgrade cards. First we'll look at the tokens. So you have the free wound tokens, the observation tokens, suppression token, dodge token, aim token, and his order token. 
the reverse side. We then have a nice selection of upgrade cards. Some of these are Karas exclusive, others are a good addition to your Universal collection. So first we have the J19 Bow Rifle in staff configuration, which is a close combat range. We have one red, two black, and one white dice. It is Agent Karas only. You gain charge. While defending against a melee attack, you gain immune to pierce. And lethal one, when attacking, you may spend one aim token to gain pierce one. Then reconfigure. When you recover, you may flip this card. And it flips into the blaster configuration, which is the same dice, one red, two black, one white, and range one to three. Again, chaos only, as lethal one, and a reconfigure. He also has the portable scanners, so you gain take cover one. Choose a friendly unit at range one, that unit gains one dodge token. If you want battle droids, you can ignore this card's equipment upgrade icon requirement. So they can get it for free, basically, and still equip another equipment icon. Ascension cables. Until the end of your activation, you gain scale. You can ignore the effects of difficult terrain and do not suffer wounds while clambering. Either before or after you perform a move action, you may perform a free clamber action, and you have to exhaust the card to activate. We have Seize Initiative, which is for Commander or Operative only. You have to give up the card. It's a one use only. Uh, during the issue order step of the command phase, issue an order to yourself. So if your token hasn't come out and your, action, your activation card hasn't given you a token, you can nab one for yourself. Situational Awareness. If this is quit to a heavy unit, increase this card's points value points by four. You gain outmaneuver, you can spend dodge tokens to cancel critical results. So a nice little one to give to a character or a trooper unit for a nice cheap upgrade. If your opponent's going to be converting a lot of hits to criticals, you'll get the chance to at least cancel a few. We then have Vigilance. During the end phase, you can choose either one friendly trooper unit at range 1 to 2, or two friendly core trooper units at range 1 to 2. Each chosen unit does not remove one dodge token. So that means you can keep your dodge around for another t another round. Very handy if you want to stockpile your dodge. And lastly we have Inspiring Presence. Friendly units at range 1 to 4 can use your Courage value when checking whether they are panicked. This range can be reduced by other effects. So anything has an environmental effect to reduce distances can of course affect that. Oop. Next we have Agent Callus's profile card. So he is Agent Callus, Hunter of Spectres. He is a commander, unit size of 1, 90 points. Has the contingencies 2 keyword. So when building a command hand you can set aside 2 extra cards as contingencies. So giving you a total of 9 cards instead of 7. Which is very handy. Cunning. When your commander specific command cards are played, if there would be a tie for priority, you can treat your card as if you had one fewer pip. So you can e easily give up going first if you want and allow your opponent to make a few foolish errors. Flawed. Add your flaw card to your opponent's hand. Sharpshooter 1 and Tactical 1. After you perform a standard move, you gain an aim token. So that's a good way of playing Callus, given the aim tokens. So he's got a way of always getting at least one aim token per turn. You can of course take an action to gain another aim token. But you have his other abilities down below. He has his advanced combat training, which is his melee attack, two red dice, very handy. And also you have his RK3 blaster pistol, range one to two, two black and one white with pierce one. So he is a trooper unit, he has 6 health and a courage value of 2. And he can surge hits in he can surge his dice into critical and rolls a red for defense. Has a movement value of 2. And on the back we have a reminder of the Pierce special rule, which is while attacking you can cancel up to one shield result. 
Next we have his command cards. So for one pip, we have Face Me! Which sees Agent Karras fighting off against Zeb, which I really hope we get him soon in Star Wars Legion, because I would love to... Oops, drop my cards. No, I wouldn't. I would love to add the rest of the Spectre crew to my collection. I have Sabine already, but I really want to get the rest. So this affects Agent Callus only. Agent Callus gains Agile 1 and Block, and during Agent Callus's activation, he may perform a free recover action. Enemy units engaged with Callus cannot withdraw, so it forces your opponent to stay locked in. So we have his two-pip card, ISB Investigations. We have him um, specking out the Ghost, Sabine, and Hera. Again, I'd like to see Hera and Chopper as a similar unit to Cassian and K2. A nice double pack with two characters that can work well together. So this affects Agent Callus and one additional unit. You can declare a number and choose an opponent. That opponent will set aside, any, set aside, face up, any command cards in their hand that have a number of pips equal to the declared number. That opponent returns these cards to their hand after they select the command card in a subsequent round. So you can easily freeze out your opponent's one or two pip cards if you definitely really want to go first, or freeze out their three pip cards if you really want... If you, sorry, freeze out their one or two pip cards if you want to go first, or freeze out their three pip card if you really want to go last, or at least get a draw. And finally, his three pip card, we have Ruthless Tactics. See Agent Karras ordering forth his stormtroopers to attack possibly that Jedi. Agent Callus and two other units. So after an enemy unit defends against a ranged attack, it gains one observation token or two observation tokens if it has a number of suppression tokens equal to or exceeding its courage value. During Agent Callus's activation, he may perform a free recover action. So there's a lot of chances to perform recover actions of Callus, so you can Reactivate cards, flip cards. And finally, we have his floor, developing sympathies. So, of course, four cards are added to your opponent's hand, not yours. And this can be played any time. You may play this card at the start of the command phase if there is a wounded Agent Callus. At the end of that enemy Agent Callus's activation, if he performs an attack, he gains four suppression tokens. And of course, we see Callus watching the ghost fly away after rescuing Zeb from the frozen moon above Geonosis where he and Zeb spent a rather arduous night and where his sympathies began to grow. So there we have it. Let's bring all the cards back in. And of course... Alexander Callas himself. So, final thoughts and value. Um, I picked this up for myself from Curtain Games, which is $11.99. His retail price is $14.99. And for that, for final thoughts on this model, it's it depends. It's a rather helpful unit if you are collecting Imperial has some nice alternate ways of playing. Um, if, like me, you're a big fan of the Rebels series, it's a great way to help bring favourite episodes to life on the tabletop, or even create new scenarios that were never um, touched upon in the series. Um, regardless of whether you're wanting to get this commander for yourself to use or not, or just paint the model, it does include some nice universal upgrade cards. So in that regard, it's a great little investment. And again, the model is lovely quality, and I can't wait to see more of the plastic kits, especially with Atomic Mass Games now taking over the Legion project from Fantasy Flight. Well, there we go. So this has been the unboxing for Agent Callus Commander Expansion for Star Wars Legion. 
Thank you for watching. Be sure to follow me on my social medias. Use my affiliate link for Curton Games. Or if you'd like to support the channel, please buy me a coffee. The links will be down in the description below. Also, please like, comment, share and subscribe if you would like to see more mad content. So finally, this has been Merlin. I'm quite mad about painting and goodbye.